Hey everyone, this is the video basically teaching you how to play the San Fernando Valley Taiko version of Matsuri. The entire song can be broken down into three different sections, the first being uh, the intro, chorus, uh, the evil twin version of the chorus, which is just like a modified chorus, um, the middle and probably the largest part of the song is the solos. Um, they start slow and each subsequent solo gets a little faster, so the last solo is going to be fairly fast. And then once we're at this faster tempo, then the sort of end section of the song occurs, which is the chorus again, the evil twin version of the chorus, and the intro basically played in reverse, and then you just end the song. So starting with the intro, um, Everyone is going to start um, seated in your in your ready position or crouched in your ready position. Um, the shime player is going to say Matsuri Daiko, and everyone goes Sore and pops up, um, and then you're ready to play. And then the way that the, it kind of unfolds is that the first person is going to play the first line of the intro, and then on each repeat of that line, you add another player. Um, so by, by the end, everyone is playing that line. The next player just comes in on the don don, the ending don don, to continue uh, the repeat. This is about game speed. the last uh, repeat of uh, the intro line, then you play four big hits and then uh, eight more hits uh, with a crescendo. Sorry, ending on the one, so that would be nine hits. Uh, yeah, so it would be nine hits total with a crescendo. the end of the intro basically. Uh, after that the shime player has uh, four kind of repeats of the Matsuri beat um, to slow the beat down to get into uh, the chorus. So it's uh, it start the whole song starts out fast and then the shime player will at that point slow it down. So now I'm gonna play through the entire chorus uh, which is basically the traditional version of uh, Matsuri chorus. Uh, no frills, no nothing. Starting with uh, line one, going super, super slowly, uh, is just don, 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 ka, da, ka, ka. Just line one of Matsuri. And again, a little closer to game speed. Mess up the sticking on the end. So we're moving into line two. It's don don su don don ka ra ka ka. It's a nice point out in front of uh, that line. Again, at game speed. So here's line three. Um, it varies from group to group, but uh, this is the one that we're going to be doing. It's um, it's a soup, don, soup, don, don, ka, da, ka, ka. Again. Uh, starts with a suit, so you're um, kind of slashing out. 
and the rhythm is su don su don don. So then going into line four, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a uh, it start. Do do ka da don 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 ka da ka ka. It's a little beatier, the beatiest line. Uh, again, it is do do ka da don 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 ka da ka ka. All alternating. And that's the end of the chorus. Lines one through four in the chorus. And now we're going to learn the Evil Twin version of the chorus. I'm not going to lie to you, it's kind of hard. It's designed to be really different from just traditional Matsuri. Like, I didn't want to just play Matsuri again, you know. So uh, this is a little more flashy, a little more contemporary than uh, normal Matsuri. But it's still the same four line structure. So we are going to start again at line one of the Evil Twin chorus. Um, it still goes Dawn. Don, don, ka, da, ka, ka, but the sticking is just is different, as you have probably noticed. Um, the last uh, ka is a hit on the side of the drum closest to you. So you kind of need to prep that left hand and hit through um, so that you're kind of slashing out when you end this line. Okay, and line two is just completely different from, from normal line two. So we've ended on this slash out pose. Um, the first thing you're going to do is click together. And the rhythm is ka, or click, do, do, ka, don, don, ka, da, ka. And you see on the old city, the sticking is a little different. It's ka da click ka. That's gonna come in when we do line three. But for now, uh, again, it's click do do ka don don ka da click ka. And you're using that click to kind of propel your right arm in a backwards circle to start for line three. Lines one and two together look like this. I'm gonna mess up this first one. I'm gonna try it again. All right, got that. So now we're moving on to line three. Uh, line three is the hardest line. The first hit of line three is a little swoop. Uh, you're using that backward circle that we were talking about on the right arm to ka on the bottom of the drum in an upward motion. Um, and then you bring your left hand over. Second hit is a uh, left don. Third hit is a uh, ka, but it's on your left hand. So it's a kind of a double hit. Left don, left ka. Ka, don, ka. Fourth hit is a hit through on your right hand. Make sure that it goes all the way through. That's going to be really important for the fifth hit. Um, after that, you'll see in a second. So yeah, fifth hit is uh, is a ka coming back through that same path that you drew with your uh, your hit through on the right hand. Kind of like a slash out. Next hit is just a normal left-handed uh, don. Um, remember to pull your left hand over when after you hit through on your right hand, like that outward ka. And then click your bachi together. And then don again. So click don. So the, so the whole thing... Uh, <laughs> So 
that's how fast it'll hopefully ever be. Moving on to line four, uh, this is again the beatiest line of the Evil Twin chorus. clear this one is a bit of a crescendo. So you're going to start small and then get big. So the whole thing, uh, top to bottom, look how stupid I am. <laughs> um, lines one through four on the evil twin chorus. probably what it's going to look like at the end of the song. Yay! And so now you know all of the Evil Twin Chorus. So after that is the tag, which is um, this line that you play after your solo um, to let people know that you're done playing your solo. Yeah, not a whole lot to this line, just uh, two repeats of the Matsuri beat and a little flare at the end, and a ka. That's nice and definitive. basically it. Um, those are all the pieces. It's just a matter of assembling them in the right order. Again, it goes intro, chorus, and then evil twin chorus. Um, you're going to start the tag and then go into the solo section. Everyone's going to play their solo, um, and then you're going to speed up with each subsequent solo, um, but hopefully not too fast because then you won't be able to play the second half of the song, uh, which goes... Uh, chorus again, evil twin chorus again, and then the intro, and then you end with the tag. So that's basically all of Masadi. Yay!